Hi, welcome back. If you're new here, I'm Missy and I write the blog ramblingrosefarmhouse.com and I am happy to have you here today. Today is a day that we have been waiting for for a while and we're pretty excited because it is honey extraction day. So that's a pretty big deal. We have three beehives and we are going to be going out there and taking all of the boxes of honey off of our beehives and then we will be bringing them right here into our farmhouse kitchen and we will be setting up our little extraction station over there and extracting the honey out of those um, frames that the honey's in, that the bees put it in. And so we're gonna be doing all that. It's gonna be really exciting. And um, like I said, we've been waiting for months to get for this day to get here and here it is. So I hope that if you're interested in this, that you'll come along with us and see how it goes. And we're hoping for no stings, but I don't know if that'll happen or not. But anyway, we're fixing to head out. So I'm going to take you out there with us. Is that that jersey? This is our friend, Larry. He came over to help us take the honey supers off of our bee boxes. And we are doing this late Friday afternoon. And then we are gonna stack these boxes up and extract our honey on Saturday. And right here off the bat, we have an injury. My husband burned the rubber glove that he has on to his finger with the smoker because those things are hot. And so they had to cool it off with some water, but now he's okay and here um they are getting they're getting started pulling out the frames full of honey and they're going to put this them in this box that's in the back of the truck we're using the back of the truck here as kind of our little table workstation and this is a three-person job and since i wanted to do the recording um, we, Larry came over to help us and then my son is in the back of the truck um, manning the box that they're putting the um, frames full of honey in and my husband is working too and doing this. So we met Larry at a local bee, bee meeting and I would say that if you want to get started with bees and you're not really sure where to start, see if you have a local bee meeting near you that you can go to because we met him and he lives just a few miles away from us so we've become really good friends and we got our first bees from him and then anytime we have questions he's always close by and always willing to come over and take a look at our bees and help us out and so I look and he got stung he he had a bee go up his um, pants leg right there so we've had two injuries already um, a burn and a sting but um, anyway, it's really nice if you can meet someone that's pretty close to you that knows what's going on with bees and can help you because when you start off as a new beekeeper, you have a lot of questions. And so here you can see they're putting the frames full of honey into this box in the back of the truck and it the box is pretty much full of smoke but the honey does not get affected. You see how those frames are white. The bees have the honey totally sealed up in the frames. They're sealed up with wax, and so the smoke does not get into the honey at all. So it doesn't smell like smoke. It doesn't um, taste like smoke. The smoke just keeps the bees away so that we can get the frames um, into these boxes, and they have to go into our house. These boxes are gonna go into our house tonight, and we don't really want them to be full of bees when we get them in there. So, and I do have this in fast motion, but they are, they're going really slow and they're being really gentle with the bees when they brush them off. It doesn't really look like that right here, but they are. Oh, that's 
That's good. That's good. They got down. Mm -hmm. They got down off the front. And I don't have all this recorded because I did go and help. I um, switched out with somebody for a little while and I um, brushed these off of the frames and put them in the box. So I'm sure you can see we have three hives there and they're working on the second hive now. And our boxes are getting stacked higher in the back of the truck. Um, once the box is empty, they're putting the new frames in there. Okay, so here are all of the boxes full of honey in the back of the truck, and we just backed it right up to um, our back door of our screen porch, and they are going to come into the house. Like I said, on Friday night, they're going to be stacked up in the kitchen, and there they are, and they are going to sit here until Saturday morning when we'll get started. So here my husband is um, starting getting the honey out of the um, frames and the way he used this knife right now was not the right way and so that's why it kind of tore the um, the wax part of the frame up so don't do it that way but I will show you soon the way to do it He just stung me. Now he's using the sawing motion with the um, knife, and that's the right way that you're supposed to do it, like this right here. So these are the boxes waiting to have the honey taken out. And then they go into the little box here next to him where he then decaps them with the decapping knife. And then he puts them in the box here that my son is getting them out of after they're decapped. And he's putting them into the extractor. 
Now I want to say all of this equipment that you see us using here belongs to Larry. It's not ours. Hopefully one day we will have our own, but we are very blessed that he let us use all of his equipment to extract our honey out of our hives this year. This little tool has to be used if the knife does not get the capping off. You have to use that little tool to move that wax out of the way or else the honey that is still capped will not come out of the um, frames in the extractor. That is just really pretty honey. And that's like a perfect frame there with um, it all capped up. And there's the little tool to get the part that the knife missed. The reason the knife missed that is because it's lower than the wood on the frame. And these are all the cappings that are coming off of the honey frames and I will be able to use those to make things out of beeswax. This is a nine frame extractor that we're using here and this thing was really nice. It was really easy to spin and um, just worked really good. Now he had to stop and come open this honey gate and let some of the honey out of the bottom of the extractor because the frames were actually down into the honey and the thing would not turn properly anymore. So the strainer we're using here is a double layer strainer. So it's take that honey a while to get through there because it goes through the first layer and then it goes down there into the second layer of the strainer. So it gets really well strained right here and then it's gonna go into the bucket that it will be stored in. Where you see the dark spots, that's where it's actually starting to go into the bucket through the second strainer. And now he is giving it a try again, but there's not enough honey out, so he's gotta wait a little while longer and let some more honey get out of there first. Here you can see our setup. A little bit better from the side. You can just get a different view of the way we have everything flowing. And it worked really well. Now here he's showing you how clean the frames are when they come out of the extractor there's almost no honey left in there at all and if you're wondering about the dark frames the dark frames are older so they've been used a couple a couple of years the ones that are really really clean like he showed you just a minute ago are new so that was the first time like that one right there that's the first time it had ever been in the beehive but as they are in there for a while they get darker like that there's nothing wrong with them, they're just older. So he's just stacking these empty frames back into the empty boxes that we've taken the full frames out of. And there you can see the honey down in the bottom of the extractor.
and here he's wanting me to give you a close-up view of the honey coming out of the frames it comes out of there I don't know if you can see it but it's hitting the wall of the extractor and then it just um, drains down the wall into the bottom of the extractor where it comes out through that little honey gate that we had open earlier but it's really a neat process and in this extractor it empties both sides of the um, frame you don't have to turn them around and some of them you have to stop and turn them around but you don't have to do that in this one. And it's not hard to turn at all. You can get a motor to put on this thing, but it really wasn't difficult to turn. If you notice here, the boxes are just about even there, because I think they are even, so we are about halfway through at this point, um, extracting all of the honey from the um, frames. But don't worry, I'm not gonna take you through the whole second half. See how this the, the empty boxes, or the, the box with the empty frames and the box with the full frames are even there. And I wanted to mention that bee sting that my son got earlier that was a dead bee that was just um it was dead in the honey on or on the frame and he touched it with his hand and it stung him so you might not know that but bees can sting after they're dead if you touch the stinger it will still sting you and that's what happened to him earlier so we had a sting but it wasn't from a live bee We did have a few bees in our house on Saturday morning when we got up and got started. But and there was only maybe four total, so there weren't very many of them at all. And we were able to just kind of scoop them up and put them back outside. So hopefully they found their way back home to the beehives. Here is some more honey coming out of the extractor. And here we are almost finished. See that box is empty. That's the box that um, would have the full frames in it waiting to get decapped. So we're almost finished here. There's all the wax. And there is our stack of empty um, frames now. There's just kind of a close up of the frames in the extractor. Cleanup going on in the background. The last of the honey getting extracted right now. And there's a bucket of honey right there. There's another bucket there sitting under the extractor. Look at all that gorgeous um, honey. My kids were calling it liquid gold while we were doing this.
Now, this is the decapping box, and you can take it, you turn it around, and there's a screen down there. So that will let the honey keep dripping out of all of these wax cappings that we have here. And so we'll actually let this sit for about three or four days and let as much of the honey drip out as possible. Now he's going to go ahead and open the gate and you can see how much honey dripped out just while we were um, doing this. There's a pretty good bit. I think we got about um, maybe a gallon and a half out of it the first time that we did it here and then we got more later. And so we ended up with almost four full five gallon buckets of honey. These will be more full than this after we get the rest of that honey out of the cappings and add it to them. It's just got a little bit of foam on the top. So when we were finished, we brought all of our containers and our honey frames and everything back outside. We just set them on this trailer and let the bees come and clean them up. So the bees come back and they actually come get all of the honey that's left in there. So it doesn't get wasted, it goes back to the bees. And now we're getting ready to go put some frames back onto the beehives because they need to have um, some empty frames on there so they have room to put more honey in their hives. So that's what we're gonna do now. And we've already been out here looking to see how many frames we needed. That's why the hives are open because we don't leave our hives open like this. But we came out to see what we needed to get. So we'll add these frames back in there. Um, it's really good to have these frames that are already built out. Makes it easier for the bees because they don't have to do as much work and they can go ahead and start putting honey in there or the queen can go ahead and start laying eggs right into those frames. And see that's not a very good one so we didn't put that one in. So here are our hives and they are all done. Um, in a week we'll come back and we'll put another full box, a full empty box I should say, um, on each hive so that they have enough room and they will fill those boxes back up with honey and that will be their food for the winter. So thank you for being here. If you like this video please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so you'll be notified when I make a new video. And um, I hope to see you back next week with another video.